Well, guys, that's right. Two break ins have taken place here at Como High School in the past week. Now, over the weekend, equipment was stolen from inside of this locker room here at Como High. Now, this is the baseball locker room. We're told that the burglars came in. They kicked in this window unit and crawled through the hole. They went through and they stole uh, lots of equipment and personal items from the players here at Como High School. Now, originally, the police report said that $2,000 worth of baseball equipment was stolen. Now, over the weekend, lots of players were unable to get to their lockers to check out what was taken away. Now, we spoke with head coach Jeremy Broussard. He says today, after further assessment, that number has now climbed to about $4,000 worth of personal items and equipment taken from the players here at Como High School. Now, he also said that, unfortunately, a lot of these items were sentimental and cannot be replaced. That's the biggest thing is because some of these things can't be replaced. You know, baseball is baseball. We can always get other items, but at the same time, you know, some of them were, you know, cherished by some of the players that, want, for example, one of our players, he's had a hat that his dad has given him as his first gift, and he's a big UL fan. It was a UL, UL hat. Not that big of a deal, but at the same time, you know, it's just something special to him. And there's a lot of items like that from the players. You know, we haven't really discussed it too much yet. We're still trying to assess everything that has been taken. Surrounding area. They are doing what they can to help replace these personal items for the players. Now, the uh, school board did come in this morning. As you can see, they fixed the window unit and they are working to secure it to prevent a further break in. And at this time, there are no suspects uh, in connection to this burglary as well as the one last week. So, Lafayette Police is asking that if anyone has any information in connection to these crimes, to contact the police department. Reporting live from Como High, Carly Lang, KLFY News 10.